Welcome to Australis TV. Today's VOD is about a modification that I've done to the next gen 11.5 fishing pedal kayak from Kayaks to Fish. What we did is we managed to figure out how to put outriggers on the front and unbeknown to me this has opened up a whole new world of possibilities. For example, if you like doing long treks up rivers because of the extra storage in the front, your three day trips can now become five or seven day trips. And on top of that, from what I've been told, no one has done this before. So everything that you see in the VOD today is available from Kayaks to Fish, okay? Their website is www.kayakstofish.com. Their staff are friendly, knowledgeable, and passionate about what they do much like us on this channel here that's why we're so happy to be uh supported by kayaks to fish so please don't forget to subscribe turn your notifications on i hope you enjoy the vod and uh any comments will be answered after this goes live bye for now <laughs> When installing your kayaks to fish outriggers, in the kit there is this undrilled marine grade aluminium tube, okay? As you can see with the key system that it has in there, you have to drill these holes yourself when you measure it, right? You've got to be careful how you put this on the kayak because if you do it one way, you'll have the outriggers at the front and then if you do it another way, okay, you'll have the outriggers at the back. So depending on what sort of conditions you're going in and how much room you want to have for your fishing and other activities, little things like that can make all the difference, okay? And then I'm going to show you how we're going to put these one on the front because what I've done is, on the front we have two rivets in the hull of the kayak and we have these two tracks, okay? Now these two tracks slightly veer off and they're not in line with the other rivets so what we do is we have to slightly modify these okay so that i can put a couple of extra mounts in here one on each side just for a bit of added extra stability because you never know what's going to happen with conditions especially in wa and you just need that little bit of insurance okay so as you can see this keys in through here okay and uh what that'll do is that will now hold the outriggers in place. Now, me personally, because there's no support over it like the back outriggers, what I thought is I would use this track here, okay, and um, have another mount in here just for a little bit of added stability. So what we'll do is we will drill just the top so that we can put the um, mount in here. Now remember, these are slightly, um, just very slightly off. So the further you go away, the further to one side you've got to go on the tubing. So I'm thinking about here should be okay. So what we'll do is that looks about right. So that's just drilled the top hole and then what we'll do is we'll come back here okay highly scientific measuring system will go about there that looks about right as well so that's just hit the top of the tube it hasn't gone through to the kayak or anything like that right and what that allows us to do is that now allows us to drill right through use a slightly larger diameter drill bit then what i'll do is i'll show you this little system that i've made where we've got the clips that go into the track they'll come up through here and we'll have two points that we anchor the outriggers on on both sides and just a little bit of peace of mind okay so let's take that out and that We'll take both of them out. There we go. It's going to come off there. 
that's going to come off there. All right. So we've got that. What I can do now is, right. So as you can see, I just snuck in there on the edge of it. That should still be enough to hold it in place because what happens is with that, that's going to go backwards and forwards, not left or right, okay? So, get that in here. Good work. Slightly off, but that's okay. Great. One more in here. Now what we do is just get a slightly larger drill bit and we're away. Alright, so I've done a slightly larger hole to allow for a little bit of flex. Okay. Good work. Now that's done. Beautiful. Allows for a slight movement there, or a little bit of error. Beauty. Oh, it's going to be a bit difficult, isn't it? But we'll find out. No, it's got plenty. <laughs> so what I did is I managed to uh, cut the head off an M6 grade stainless steel uh, bolt. Now quarter inch is a little bit too small. The M6 actually matches the threads on the um, bolts there. Okay, now that's a little nylock nut. Believe it or not, this is a little tool that I had on my little Husqvarna um, <laughs> brush cutter and old chainsaw. That fits the head of the nylock nut perfectly. So, let's go through and do it. So, what we do here is, we use this track to our advantage. We just put that through like that. And as you can see, whoops, they're now sticking up through the track. Right, I'm just gonna put that through here, like so. Bring that down through here, like so. And that's not gonna go anywhere, okay? So now all we need to do is line up the holes on the outriggers, put them through the first track, get them tightened down with a nut and bolt, and away we go. Well, that's the theory anyway. Okay, so now that I have these drilled, I just need to key these first two in here. Come on, buddy, work with me. Key that one in there. And hopefully, Everything lines up. Let's see. First one looks pretty good. Second one looks pretty good. Obviously, you've got the tension of the outriggers to work with. So what we'll do is we'll just tighten these two nuts here, like so. 
So that way we're locked into the rivets that are in the hull. That's fairly tight. That's locked into the other rivet there, like so. Get a couple of these nylock nuts here on there. Let's hope that this works. Well, that's reasonably tight in there as well. Voila! I would go so far as to say, I mean, I can pick up the kayak using that outrigger bar, not that I want to do that too much, but now that these front outriggers are in, just a bit worried that they might be a bit out of alignment, but they'll have a little bit of flex, right? No, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. So as you can see, Oh, hang on. Was that a fish or was that a bird? I think it was a bird. That's a good thing about doing live content and then uploading it to VOD form. You capture the moment, you know? So what we'll do is I'm just going to paddle around here for a second and see how stable this yak is. Okay, let's just go and have a quick look. Well, the moment of truth. Let's have a look. I won't bother putting my bimini in that on yet. I just want to see how stable these are. Uh, let's find out. Well, as you can see, they sit in the water quite well. That's pretty good. I think we might be onto something here. So what I'll do is I'm just going to um, just paddle around in here, really, and um, let's see what eventuates. Now, the flat position, right, is like that. So if you're in shallow water, just spread the two um, foot pedals apart, and what will happen is the two fins underneath the kayak will flatten up against the hull. So... That's really stable. Look, that's not going anywhere. <sighs> These are really good. So what we'll do is um, the moment of truth, I guess. I don't have a stand-up bar for this. Ta-da! Great! That's pretty good. The kayak outriggers are taking most of the weight, and I mean, I'm trying to tip it over here. And both of the outriggers are holding on pretty well. That's not really going anywhere, is it? I mean, look how much water we've moved with it. So basically, that means I can now stand up in this reasonably, right? And I mean, I'm a big guy, you know, nearly 300 pounds. That's really good. Um, obviously, there's a bit of water displacement and that sort of stuff, but with the outboard and with the battery and all the rest of the stuff, it will tip the kayak back a bit. So if I sit down like that, right, and let's just... Rightio, we'll release the rudder system.
there is absolutely no issue steering with these outriggers on the front. Look, I've just done a full circle there. It's not often something goes right, is it? Actually, let's go out here and I'll do one the other way because I'm being, feeling a bit cheeky. I've got no issues with direction or anything. This really is the only way to travel. Oh yeah, let's go. Wow. So, Dare I say it, with the outriggers on the front, this fantastic Next Gen 11.5 has better uh, steering, believe it or not. <sighs> Looks pretty good to me. Well, I think we're going to have to tell kayaks to fish about this. Fantastic. The extra stability um, using the stud and the track is fantastic. Um, and as you saw, uh, I stood at the front of the kayak. Obviously, a little bit of water got displaced, but nothing like before. So uh, that's a big tick. Awesome. How can you not be happy with that? Hey? How could you not be happy with that? So, if you want to venture long distances out in the ocean, a little bit of extra stability like this is going to make all the difference. And now all we have to do, these ones at the back... What I can do is I can turn them around so the two outriggers are at their furthest most points and that will give you more of a platform to um, fish with. Let's just try one other thing before we go any further. Not as gazelle-like as I used to be. Um, I mean, that's pretty good. I've got a little bit of water in the bottom of the yak, but I'm a pretty big guy. So if I need to fight fish, I mean, there's a bit of tension in there. But like I said, I've got no weight in the back of this kayak. So, I mean, I can sit here, you know, 
Look. Fantastic. Whoops. Sit back down again. Being my normal gazelle-like self. All the water drains out of the deck. Wow. There you go, people. You saw it here first. Front outriggers installed on the next gen 11.5 they don't weigh that much more either look We did it. Absolutely gobsmacked. <laughs> it worked.